Hey, what's up guys? Dave here from CNC 3D. So today we're gonna to be going through a detailed video on how to operate one of our lasers with your CNC machine. This video will be done today on one of our U-Carve CNC machines. It will also apply to one of our Sharp CNC kits and may also suit your grbl based controller as well. So we're gonna be using our CNC 3D Commander software today and we're gonna be going through and doing a image engraving. This is going to be what's called a raster image engraving where it will pan through the image line by line and we're gonna be getting, getting a hold of the basics of getting started with the laser. So as you can see here, we've already got our laser connected up to the side of our spindle and we have our cord connected into the top of the laser. You will notice that the laser may either have a green LED on the top or a blue LED on the top. If the laser has a green LED on the top, that means it is in a no power safe mode, which means no matter what power command you send to it, it simply will not light the laser. Um, so what you need to do is just press the little white button on top of the laser module itself until the LED light goes blue. Once the LED light is blue, then you are ready to start using the high powered mode of the laser. So we've got our commander software here. We're just gonna click on connect. And the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to actually test the laser itself just to make sure that it's working. We're gonna go into the operations tab here and we're going to change the operate using option from spindle to laser and then hit update operation settings. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna test the laser itself. So go to the run job tab and you'll notice we have a spindle control option down the bottom here. So the on command is M3 and the S command is currently set to one. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set that to one. So if we hit on, you'll notice that our laser has not come on. And the reason for this is because we are in laser mode. So what we need to do is we need to jog the machine in order to actually see it go. So we've got our distance on the left hand side here set to five mil. Let's just jog the X axis across five mil and you should see the laser come on. And there you go, we've got a little blue spot there. Now that little blue spot is not currently burning or engraving the surface of the material. Because of the power that we've set it to, we're gonna hit the off button on here just to make sure that it's working. And we'll hit on again. And we'll just jog the machine back five mil and you can see that the laser has come on. So we'll hit the off command for now and let's just jump in to getting started with your first engraving now that we know that your laser is working as it should. So we're gonna click on the create button at the top here in the middle of Commander, and we're gonna go into the laser image engraver. We're gonna open here a file, and we're gonna choose this little happy turtle PNG that we have saved. So let's just go open. And as you can see, we have this beautiful little grayscale turtle here. This is actually a full color image, but the Commander software will automatically convert it into a grayscale for the purposes of engraving. So let's go ahead and set some of the details of our engraving. So we've got our width is 100 mil. Our height is 66.28. We're just gonna decrease this a little bit just to make a slightly faster engraving. So let's just reduce it down to 80 mil and you can see it's automatically adjusted the height to 53.02 and that's because we've locked the image size ratio. You can choose to experiment with these as much as you'd like. Um, we're just gonna have this output exactly as it looks here. Now in your resolution section, we're gonna do this engraving at 0.2 mil. You can choose to do it at 0.1, it will take twice as long, but it will be a very, very nice crisp engraving when it's done but we're just gonna leave it at 0.2 for now. In our power setting, we are using some MDF here, so we're gonna leave our minimum at zero, and we're gonna set our maximum to 100 for this engraving. Now we could go through and play with some of the color settings or the mode settings, uh, or even some of the other features that it does have, but we're just gonna adjust our feed rate to 2,000 2,000 millimeters per minute. And we're just gonna export this file. So we're just gonna save it here as turtle.nc. 
and just be patient during this process while it does generate the file at the bottom left here. And there we go, it's now gone ahead and created our engraving. So let's just close out of this window. And we can close out of our creation tools window. And the first thing that we're gonna do, we're going to load our job. So just hit the load job button in the middle. We're gonna choose that new file, turtle.nc, that we've just created. And now what we need to do is we need to set up the zero position for our laser. So the first thing is we're going to ask our spindle to turn on. So back to the spindle control under run job. The on command is M3. The S command will be one, which means it's gonna give us a faint light, but it won't actually burn or start to engrave the material. So just hit on. And what we'll do, we're just gonna go ahead and jog this to a safe location that we know that we can begin this engraving from. So once we start to jog, we'll see that our laser light has illuminated. And we're just gonna jog it so that it's in a good place to run this engraving from. Okay, so that's looking pretty good on the X and the Y. So what we'll do now is we're just going to turn the actual laser off. So hit the off button. Okay, so now that we're happy with the X and Y positioning of our laser, it's time for us to set the focal point of our Z axis to make sure that we get a nice and crisp engraving. So provided with your 15 watt laser module, you will have a spacer which is used for setting the perfect focal distance. If you're using one of our 5.5 watt lasers or smaller, they do actually come with an adjustable lens on the bottom and all you need to do is on a very low power level while wearing your laser safety goggles, just set the S to one and then basically wind the knob until you get a nice small spot, the smallest possible spot that you can on your material. But in the case of this 15 watt laser, we're just gonna use the spacer provided to set the perfect focal length. So let's just go ahead and do that now. So position the spacer directly underneath the laser so that it can get where the bottom of the brass part of the laser is. Now that we're there, let's just set our distance very low to say one millimeter and very carefully jog our Z axis down until the laser is just brushing on the top of that spacer. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Let's just take our spacer away. And now we are in the perfect position to run our job. So the first thing that we need to do is just hit zero job. And then let's just go ahead and run it. And there you have it guys, we've just gone through and completed this engraving. So let's just go ahead and jog our machine out of the way. And let's have a closer look at it. And there you have it guys, we now have a beautiful turtle engraving here. I hope this video will help you getting started using your laser attachment on your CNC. Thank you very much for being a follower and supporting us with all of our videos. Have a great day.